Richmond police get a tip about a plan to target and wreak terror on a 4th of July celebration in the city. And they respond to this home behind me here in the 3100 block of Columbia Street on the city's south side. One man is arrested here on Friday night. Uh, these weapons you see on your screen are confiscated along with more than 220 rounds of ammunition. Police say the man who made the actual threat was put under surveillance at that point and they got enough probable cause to make an arrest on July 5th, the day after 4th of July. Crime Insider sources tell me 52-year-old Julio Alvardo Dubon was granted a $15,000 bond this afternoon. Roman Balacarcel. 38 years old, is locked up in the Charlottesville area with no bond. Federal sources tell me one of these men has been deported before. I asked Chief Gerald Smith about that this afternoon. It can be frustrating when things like that occur, that people who shouldn't actually be who are criminals actually continue to be able to do those type of things. It can be frustrating. But it is very, very um, encouraging to me when I know that our police officers, especially here at the Richmond Police Department, will continue to do their part. Okay? If they actually do something that actually violates the law, then they'll be held accountable from our perspective. I've had conversations with uh, the Commonwealth's attorney, but I also want you to know that the Commonwealth's attorney is just one piece of the justice system in, in local government. We need judges to do their part and, and put people, you know, make sure they stay behind bars. If you are a, a criminal who's willing to take someone's life or willing to harm, maim anyone, you should be behind bars a little bit longer, I think. But also, we need state and federal government to, to, to step up as well. And I'm told whatever confiscation happened here on Columbia Street Friday night, it was done stealth because neighbors say they saw nothing out of the ordinary, but they do add they are glad these illegal weapons are off the streets. Working for you on the city's south side, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.